Well, a lot has happened in real estate over the past few months. Welcome to WHHI TV. Here to shed some light on what the heck is going on is James Wedgworth, realtor on Hilton Head Island. Great to see you. It's always good seeing you. Happy New Year. Same to you as well. Um, okay, housing sales. I have seen headlines. They are down across the country. I want to find out, is that the case here? We have people reminiscing back to 2010 where, yikes, we had a ton of foreclosures. Give me a status report of where we are here on Hilton Head Island. Uh, I can't even go to the grocery store without five people stopping me and say, are we heading into a housing recession? Yeah. In other words, are house prices going to drop? We're not going into 2010, 2011 recession type housing market. I mean, that was a crash. It was a crash. In fact, in 2010, one out of every four houses that sold on Hilton Head was a foreclosure house. Wow, can you believe it? And there's a reason we're not going in. And it mainly has to do with the way the uh, mortgages were done recently. Yeah. Okay. The banks put restrictions where what happened in 2009 and 2010, 08 would not happen again. I mean, you could just walk in and get a mortgage. You weren't your background or your finances weren't checked. Et I knew and one so guy. Forth. You're not going to believe this, but he bought 53 houses and he had no money. They mm -hmm. just. He was working off what we call the greater fool theory. <laughs> he thought he could buy them and sell them right. a year later for more money. And then when the market slowed, he's left holding the bag like that old uh, musical chairs. You don't want to yeah. be left without a chair. And he just walked away, didn't he? Just walked away from mile 53 yeah. here on Hilton. Wow. Day. And and the other thing is people that own second homes, you know, in nice neighborhoods or communities, uh, they still have their home, you know, in their home state or wherever, and they could also just walk away. Yes? And they did, because what happens, the property values dropped right. on the average about anywhere from 35 to 40 percent. And if you got a 20 percent mortgage, in other words, you buy a million dollar house, finance 800, all of a sudden it's worth 650. You say, hey, it's a business decision. I'm just going to give it back to the bank. And wow. who cares about my credit? We're so, not heading to that degree no, again, correct? There, I, I, I wish I could emphasize enough, even if prices drop some, and we can discuss that later because I've done sure. some numbers on that, we're not going to get to the point where they're going to drop that much simply because of supply and demand. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about that later. But uh, I just try to get everybody to say, hey, cool it. We're not going <laughs> to take a deep breath. Well, right? You know, if you read, I know you told me you read a couple of mm -hmm. articles yesterday, but I read them every day, and every major stockbroker's company yep. is saying that housing in 2023 is going to drop, and I've seen low as 7%, which I don't think will happen here, but I've seen as high as 15%. Yeah. And if you're a consumer and you say, wait a minute, I can buy this house in a year for 15% less than I can buy it today, you wait, but sure. I don't think that's going to happen here. We can, okay, and then, of course, mortgage that. rates have gone up, so some people may hold off and see if they're going to drop again. But here's something. I When I mentioned these articles, someone said that the um, we're not headed towards a recession. This is a needed contraction of the market that will eventually lead to normalcy after a couple of wild years. And you had a couple of wild years during COVID where you were running here, there, and everywhere, and stuff was selling, selling, selling. So is this more returning to normalcy, perhaps. That's the word I use when people say, how's the market? I say, it's normal. And they go, well, I don't know what that means. I say, well, it means it's not crazy. It's not going to sell in an hour if you it's list it. It's not going to sell in Which an it hour. Did. It did. Yeah. Uh, in fact, in March and April of 2022 was the peak of the market. Uh, the We didn't count days on the market on property we counted hours on the market. It? it was on the market two hours. It was on the market six hours. Because there were so many people, it was just crazy, yeah. and everybody was making offers above list sure. price. I haven't had any of those in the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the agents in my office had one yesterday because he got four offers on a, a property. But what was happening is people were making, you'd list a piece of property, you would have 10 offers within a day, all 10 above list price, all 10 cash, all 10 as is, no home inspection reports, and they would sit there and kind of bid each other up. That's, That's what I call the crazy it market. Was. It was. Now, it's not crazy, 
It's not bad. The word I'm using is more normal. It's more like it's okay. been for years. Well, we're going to find out about supply and demand and other details, okay? But first, we're going to take a break. Um, and again, not a recession, according to you, right, Chief? We're fine. Okay. We will be back right after this.